Anime woman stares directly into your soul. Uh, that's the one drawback of the the new Xbox is the the splash screens go by a bit faster than you can comment on them. I guess that's not a horrible thing though. So yeah, dead or alive, six. So you've probably heard about this one in the the cool gamer news and. Uh, there's all that controversy because the DLC is too expensive. I just bought the base version, so that doesn't really apply to me, but... Yeah, I guess that's about the full extent of what I know about the expensive DLC. But anyway, so to start off, we've got a, a mission mode we're gonna look at. First, we just gotta thumb through all of this worthless dialogue. Okay, so three different potential missions we have to do some very specific moves to earn uh, points and coins and what have you. Okay, which one do we want to do? Not like you have any control over this. Uh, we'll do we'll do Mugen Tension. I like Mugen. That's a good fighting game. It's got Optimus Prime and the the DNA Productions Monkey and all those other characters. Okay, I think I can meet at least two out of three of those targets. So yeah, press Y to punch like you saw on the loading screen. Pretty obvious stuff. So the combat in this is uh, a bit different from other fighting games. They've got like a, a weird super block you can do where you grab the other player's arm. And I could never get the hold of how to do that. So we've met one out of three of our objectives. Well, I guess one of them's just clear the quest, so we'll get that one. But um, I'm not sure what they mean by ground attacks. I mean, my character is indeed standing on the ground, but that, that ain't what they meant. It's more complicated than that. Never did figure it out. Ah, oh, you got these video games with the hippin' and the hoppin' and they don't know what the jazz is. How do you think Bill Casby would feel about Dead or Alive 6 if, if he was still a part of society? Leave an answer in the comments below. whoop dee doo Eh, I'm gonna do an impression of Squidward for for the rest of this let's play or until I get bored. Oh no, oh, wait no. Oh no, we didn't get the third objective out of the three. Now we won't be able to unlock the costumes. Oh, fuck me. So yeah, we got an achievement. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, in case you hadn't noticed, this is the the Xbox version. All you cool gamers are gonna get upset about that, and only the PlayStation is allowed these days. And so I was trying to practice those ground attacks to figure out what went wrong. So you got a combo window, and you gotta do a diagonal block. And a punch at the same time, you know, a diagonal block and a kick at the same time, followed by a downward punch. This sure is elaborate. This background looks rather Tron-esque, doesn't it? With its, uh, its grid, what have you. Whatever happened to Tron Guy? Remember Tron Guy? I don't really expect you to, that was a long time ago. He's an old meme. Trying guy's probably gotta be at least 50 something by now. Assuming he's still around. Okay, well I can't figure out this combo. So let's just go do something else. Let's do arcade mode. That'll be the premise of this whole series. We'll just do arcade mode with different characters over and over again. As you can see by that scoreboard on the right, I've already done arcade mode a bunch of times because the, the recording keeps getting messed up. I've probably produced uh, close to nine episodes worth of footage today, 
but only three of them were usable, that being the last three or so. Anyway, it's uh, it's I'm getting kind of tired of looking at this after spending so much time on trying to get the footage together, but that's just the life of a Let's Player. Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. So we got lots of different costumes for every character. However, all of them are locked except two, but we can at least look at them. Look at all of these fashionable suits. Aren't we just fashionistas up here? <laughs> There's a pirate costume in there. <laughs> I think most of the characters have pirate costumes, actually. It just seems kind of out of place, personally, but... I don't know, I ain't a costume designer, what do I know? So yeah, the, the system to unlock costumes is uh, way too elaborate. You, you basically have to complete the campaign with your character three times in a row to unlock enough uh, coins to get one single costume. And like you saw, there's like 15 of them per character. So it's, it's a very slow process. So anywho, Mila is everyone's favorite character in this game, for obvious reasons. Mine too, I guess. That's the appeal of Dead or Alive. All the characters are, are very pretty to look at. Anyway, that was fucking creepy, I shouldn't have said that. Eh, we're doing alright thus far. You just gotta keep punching and everything will work out for its best. As Joe Biden once said, the the key to defeating domestic violence is to keep punching at it and punching at it. Just keep punching and punching and punching. <laughs> that was a real quote that he said at the debates. <laughs> it was goddamn hilarious. <laughs> you gotta watch yourself, old man. That's not the way to... <laughs> To say that, I mean, obviously he didn't mean to say something with such an unfortunate connotation, but... <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so here's Hooded Lady. If we punch hard enough, we can rip the hood right off of her outfit. So that'll be pretty cool. We gotta build up our purple meter before that, though. Um, so... What else is going on out there? Um, I saw a thing the other day, it was a, a parody of the of the duck song, but instead of a duck it was a, a tutter from Bear in the Big Blue House, and instead of a, the guy at the lemonade stand it was Ricky Berwick. Uh, we're not gonna win this match, well maybe, okay yeah. Turning it around. So continuing my train of thought, so Ricky Berwick was behind the stand, and he got really angry at Tutter at the end because he kept asking him the same question. And he says, Do you want to throw hands, motherfucker? And then he, he, he throws the stand off screen and he charges at him as best as Ricky Berwick can. And <laughs> yeah, that was just so violent and out of nowhere. <laughs> Alright, we won our, our second match. Easy peasy. So one of the appeals of Tekken, by the way, is the Tekken fuck, uh, Dead or Alive, is that there, there are other parts to the stage you can access if you can knock the other character through the walls on the edges. That won't happen in this episode because there's a bunch of uh, degenerates standing around who will push you back into place if you fall too far, just like you're seeing. Yeah, take that. He was trying to give us the old stu sumo stomp like E handy, but we would not allow that to happen. So are any of the fighters in this game based on real life martial artists? I know fighting games do that sometimes. Like for example, Rock Lee was based on Bruce Lee, and Ryu was based on Shigeru Miyamoto in his younger days, when he used to get in fights. That's fucking stupid. Alright, doing good. So this one, um, th there's a truck you can knock the other character into. 
If you can do it enough times, the truck will fall on them, because it's hanging off of a bridge like something out of a disaster movie. So is Dead or Alive considered sexist because of all the, the skimpy outfits and, and all that? I don't know what is and isn't okay in that regard anymore, so you, you guys gotta fill me in. I could certainly see that. You know, I think a lot- well, I'm gonna stop myself in mid-sentence here before I say something that's gonna evoke feminist rage. Let's- let's just not say that. Anyway, this match is going decent. This- this background looks like something out of a Michael Bay Transformers movie. You know, actually, I will say that thing that was on my mind. No, no, no. no. Gotta future-proof these episodes by not expressing my true feelings on current political issues. That ain't what you people are here for. Um... So... Hmm. Gosh, these episodes always seem funnier in my head. It's, it's like this video I saw once the other day where David Foster Wallace was explaining why writers are so reluctant to write things because there's this disconnect between how beautiful it is in your head versus how, how terrible it is once you actually write it down. And I feel like you could make a similar connection between that and Let's Play Commentary. I have all these funny jokes I want to do, and then once I actually get here, I'm just a rambling old mess. This ain't entertaining to listen to. Okay, so we're not gonna finish up this uh, arcade campaign in one episode. We got off to a bit of a, a slow start because we wanted to do the, the missions first, and now we're, it would take too long if we tried to do both in a single episode. You been away too long. Let me rest in time while I blow your mind. Oh, Dead or Alive 6 is the perfect game for sad, lonely adults like us.